Hey guys, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather and we're finally going to see snow across the inner mountain west after two solid weeks of warm, dry weather. So let's get into this. Here's the satellite across the Pacific. Look at the dipping storm track over Hawaii. That's why Mauna Kea has been getting snow. There's two or three different lows. And I talked about this all last week, how the first storm of the series will be more of a sacrifice to come in and chip away at this bulletproof area of high pressure and dislodge it so that we grease the atmospheric skids and we get a storm track that supports snow and colder weather across the West. Sometimes it takes a storm to kind of do that, to set the pattern. And that's exactly what we're going to see then as the other two lows will come in and uh, really start to bring some cold and snow to the west. Let me show you how this could play out. This is the future radar GFS interpretation. So there's a windy front that's coming through Wyoming right now, creating some wind in Colorado, and it may brush the northern mountains with a little bit of snow. But then it moves through, and then it's over. But here comes the second storm. You can kind of see it. This one's pretty minor, but it'll bring a, a light shot of snow to Colorado, the Wasatch, um, Wyoming, Idaho, Montana, and then that slides through. But here comes the main event. By the time we get into Thursday and Friday, this low, there it is coming through California, will move into the west and it spins up as an area of low pressure in Colorado. It'll drag good snow through the Wasatch, down through the Tetons, and especially into Colorado, northern New Mexico. Uh, the southern mountains of Colorado could get two feet plus out of this thing. But that's uh, Thursday into Friday. Look at that thing spin up as, what was the pressure on this? 993, yesterday we had a 988, so fluctuating. And then it moves through. But that appears to be the main event. Here's what I'm thinking as far as uh, totals go. And we'll do it in two phases between today through the 8th. So through all of the 8th, you can see the numbers. Not a lot in California. Um, the numbers in Utah are light, one to three. The numbers in Colorado are moderate and maybe a pocket of heavy over the San Juans. But again, this is just the first and the second storm. The third may be the main event. This kind of clips that second. So we'll kind of go from like late on the second storm through all of the third in a second. But this is the, these are the numbers, moderate snow through Wyoming, uh, moderate up into Montana, light to moderate, but pretty good numbers up in the Pacific Northwest and uh, British Columbia and Western Alberta. Okay, so that is through the eighth. This is the 9th through the 12th. So that entire final storm, um, and you can see the numbers are, are good. Uh, California, I'd love to see more, um, three to nine there, but look at the numbers in Utah. We're going, we're pushing about a one to two foot range over most of Utah if all of this comes together um, between the 9th and the 12th. And then look at Colorado, one to two feet, but potentially more from Silverton over the top of the San Juans down to Wolf Creek. That would be outstanding. Um, but we just need this desperately. Up in uh, Wyoming, you're, you're kind of on the northern periphery, so maybe another seven up there. Um, light to moderate southwest Montana. Pretty good amount there in Schweitzer. Uh, and look at those numbers up in Oregon and Washington and Pacific Northwest. My goodness. One to three feet plus. One to four feet. My goodness. Um, so that's the way it looks with these potentially two to three different storm systems um, on the front end that the amounts are lighter, but on the back end with um, the second and third storms, we could really see some pretty good numbers across the West. I'll keep things updated here. Always appreciate you guys tuning in.